Hello, and welcome back to Kitty and the Fox. We are back to Spy Fox and Dry Cereal. What do you know Kitty's about still the kind of up there on the bridge of the SS Deadweight? He's a persnickety one. All right, I recall seeing him in the cantina. Ugh! The cantina. The horror of the cantina. I didn't realize you were so touchy. What? So that means that we have to go to the cantina now to talk to people. Okay. I think it might be that lizard fucker. That guy! Do you know <sighs> a sailor from the SS Deadweight? Sure. I know the face. He's no ball of fire on the dance floor. Ask B, the unofficial island of Acidopolis gossip. She'll know more about him. Okay, I'll do so that. So now we know who to talk to. Yes! Imagine that shit! Person right next to you! If this was real life... What animal would you be? What do you know about this kitty. sailor from the SS? Yeah, kitty? but what type of oh, kitty? That Sal comes in every day straight I from war. Don't what know. time is that? He shows up here 33 minutes after the start of happy hour. So, when does happy hour start? One. I was hoping you would zoom in on it as I just circled it mildly to rubbing it like a nipple. Stop rubbing it like a nipple. Fine. Boop. It says I'm gonna happy like hour, superimpose the grossest nipple I could find on the internet. I don't. I think that'll actually violate YouTube's service. Fine, I'll just put a hairy dude's nipple there. There you go. Why did she say 33 minutes? 33 minutes. Interesting. This seems to be some sort of a high-tech alarm clock. This could be helpful. After all, they say timing is everything. Can show how much we were paying attention. <laughs> That's it. That's the sound the sailor told me indicates the end of his shift. Yay! Here's a question. Why'd they have a frog suit? So he'll believe you're his replacement. That's not going to do But it. why was there just a frog suit? I don't know. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do... Didn't you hear the clock? What are you still doing here? I know. I heard it. I could leave now if only my replacement was here. Unless you're the guy. Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am your oh, replacement. He's just Consider stupid. Consider yourself replaced. How can you be my relief if you're not wearing a sailor hat? Right. What was I thinking? Let's go steal a sailor hat. Okay. From who? The only place to buy or steal something from? Also, I apologize for this. Oh my god, that was audible. <laughs> oh god, it was. You're terrible. Captain, I bet you've seen a lot of seas in your day. Yes, but I used to get an occasional A and B, too. <laughs> uh... Hey, maybe we can get this guy's hat. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? Aww. Oh, he's flexing to make it move. He's ripped for a pelican. Oh, he's gotta flap his arms all the time. I don't know anything about that, but do you wanna <laughs> see my tattoo? Aww. What about this guy? There's a singular hat right there. And we still have drachmas. There's no telling when I might need one of these hats. Yes, there is. You better give me it's right now. 40, but I only have one left. All right, I'll take one of them. Good. I hope you and your little hat will be happy together. This guy's such a dick. Yep. Have a nice day. Put that on. You just want to see him with the hat? No uh, need for a disguise here. That's not a disguise. A it's a hat. You still have the name Spy. You know, you could be online checking out to see what Spy Fox's actual name is. His actual name? I believe so. Why is he introducing himself as Spy Fox? I don't know. Because <laughs> fuck you. Is he just not smart? Okay, oh, that was kind of cute. Yeah. Thank you. Out of my way. Oh, 
coming through. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. Let's touch some things. Yes. That's curious. The SS Deadweight made an unscheduled stop out in the middle of the ocean. This particular spot could require some further investigation. Forty twenty. Let's see. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> went to forty degrees latitude, twenty degrees longitude. Forty degrees latitude, twenty degrees longitude. Thirty-five degrees <laughs> latitude, twenty degrees longitude. Are you trying to click on four twenty? Maybe. I ask myself. If I were an evil, twisted, misguided, egotistical supervillain, where would I put my secret fortress? Forty twenty. Let's see. Forty twenty. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to forty degrees latitude, twenty degrees longitude. Spy fox, looking it up. Hey. Hey. What? There we go. Please stand by. Spy Fox, any luck finding Kid's secret fortress? No, I'm beginning to think that Kid's trying to keep it hidden from the public. Yeah, well, maybe that's why it's called Kid's secret fortress. Keep following those so... leads. They're bound to lead somewhere. Yeah, his name's actually Spy Fox. Oh. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 40 degrees latitude, 20 degrees longitude. Are you just going to keep clicking that? 5 degrees latitude, 5 degrees longitude. Aww. What? You can't get to say 40 degrees latitude, 20 you degrees could slice longitude. It. 4 20 Smoke weed every day. So I think we should go talk to uh, the guy. Okay. Hey, maybe you can clear up something for me. What does it mean when a sailor says, Ahoy there? Oh, that's an ancient mariner phrase from a tropical island word. Ahoy uh, hoy, ah uh, wap ole. Literally meaning, look out, a hoy hoy bird is about <laughs> to dribble on your hat. I think we need some form of gadget here. Yeah. What do you think? Sure. But I was looking at the Wikipedia page. It appears to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. Okay. Just wait for the... Just, 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 just wait. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. So it's night vision goggles with the click shoe. But it can also be used like a shoe. Yeah. And it has excellent arch support. Okay. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's the spy trap. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Maybe. Let me Could you refill this for me? Works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find I'm drinking. in the street. But if you need to trap three or more bad guys, the coin explodes that's and enough. a net shoots out. It traps the naughty spy enemies. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. Uh, I'm going to lose my appetite if I shouldn't have taken off clothes around you. Cufflinks. Okay, so I guess we don't need a thing. So what are we doing? Probably should have been paying attention to the cutscene. Probably. Why don't you ask him on your Apple Watch? I couldn't. That's not going to do me any good. Fine. That's not going to do me any good. Put him good. in it. That's not going to do me any good. Have I mentioned recently how handsome and dashing you are looking today, sir? Not Aww. recently, but then again, no need to mention the obvious. I wonder how many female furries this man has caused. I feel like I could look that up. I'll keep my extraordinarily sharp eyes open for clues, so I can find Kid's secret fortress. Uh... Coca-Cola Bear. Oh, global warming sucks. 
So I know where I'm supposed to Let's go. Let's see. It looks like the SS Deadweight went to 40 degrees latitude, 20 degrees longitude. Yes. But what do I do with this? Uh, what do I do with this information? Ask the monkey. I tried. What did she say? Just, have you found the secret base yet? Oh. Yeah. 40 degrees latitude. Uh, ask the cat about it. You certainly employ a full staff here on the SS Deadweight. It's so difficult to find trustworthy help, Spy Fox. Wait a second. The guy said he would go to the... They said he went to the bar after each shift. Mm-hmm. So maybe we should go to the bar. That's smart. Also, I c cannot get like over the fact that if you speak in the right ways, you can get these sound waves to look like a sword. See? You're a dork. Where is he? Can you go up the stairs? I think it's locked. The door's locked. Well, you can't go up them like a normal freaking person. Oh, if there was stairs were that close together, you wouldn't go up them normally either. I wouldn't jump up them like that. I would. Put this on. That's not going to do me any good. Take my money. That's not going to do me any good. Take my money. That's not going to do me any good. Do you, do you need to walk through? Probably because I haven't been paying attention. But I think we'll do fine. That's not going to do me any good. There's really only a limited number of things you can do here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's actually kind of sad how... Or funny how sad this is. Yeah. Have you tried putting on the costume in the room where you got it? Because you've tried everything else? I'm tr hey, there's a lot of things I haven't tried as well. That's fair. Here's where I keep my spy. You know, once I invented a fax machine disguised as a tuna casserole. Really? I'll have to get your recipe. So. Next time on Kitty and the Fox. We'll figure out what the hell we're doing. Yeah. Bye.